Sarah. It won't be long now. I'm coming home soon, aren't I? No, wait! <sighs> a reminder from Bonavelza. It was just a mirage. God didn't want me to forget the bait he dangled in front of me when he asked me to be the savior. But the moment I realized that, I became aware of something else, too. When I looked into Sarah's face, when I heard her voice and when I saw the promise of her return, I should have felt something, a surge of joy or warmth. But instead, I felt nothing inside. And strangely, I didn't care. You survived another day. So Vanille seems well. I'm glad. I remember her, you know, from way back when. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together, but in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human. Something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelza himself? Not the future I want. Light.
If you're looking for the angel of the wet ones, you might <laughs> Yeah? What do you want? I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? Hey, you must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. The Angel of Valhalla isn't a person. It's a legendary chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. It's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend, then? Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Maybe it is, but Dr. Ghazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Ghazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of course. A prickly character with the temper of a behemoth. But he loves his chocobos. When it comes to the Angel, he's the leading expert in all of the Wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. Hmm. A white chocobo at the end of the world. There's nothing... If you want to know about the Angel of Valhalla, talk to Dr. Gazal. He lives in the village of Canopus Farms. Even if it is, someone spoke to me. The voice was real, and it mentioned the Angel of Valhalla. I want to know who it was. If you think that's what you need to do, then go ahead. You have a lead, at least. Right, a bad-tempered chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Gazal. Hmm, they said I could find him in Canopus Farms. You aren't from around here, are you? I suppose you've come to seek the wisdom of our famous Dr. Gazal. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the Angel of Valhalla. I knew it. Well, first things first. You have heard of our chocobo legend, right? You mean the one about a sacred white chocobo that appears at the end of the world? That's the one. Some of us call that chocobo the Angel of Salvation. Oh, how we've been praying for him to appear. The Angel is a harbinger, a signal that it's over at last. That's something to pray for? Oh, yes. For the people who live out here? Death is a kind of salvation. An outsider like you must find it difficult to understand. Five centuries ago, all hell broke loose and a new god took over. We became immortal against all natural laws. See, the people out here don't like that. Even gods shouldn't be allowed to change the natural order of things. Living off the land, growing our own food, surviving by our own wits, and dying when our time is up. That's what we want. And that's why the white chocobo is a good thing. It means this unnatural life is going to be over at last. Right? <laughs> but you're welcome to believe different. We don't push our creed on anyone. At the same time, as long as you're going to be visiting us here for a while, it's right that you know our ways. For the people of the Wildlands, the White Chocobo is a sign. A herald of a special kind of salvation. Many in these lands worship Etro, the goddess of death. They pray to eventually return to her side, which in their creed is the same as ceasing to exist.
don't you take a look at my wares? See something? Oh, thanks a lot.